Open Galleries tab, click Add Gallery. Give your new gallery a name. A display title, I will call it Jewelry Collection, and the display title will be the same. You will see five tab down below and every setting for the gallery will be here. First is Image tab. You can either choose from existed Shopify library like your product images, or you can simply upload new images. Delete unnecessary images or select the first image, hold shift, and select the last image to choose multiple or click check all and press delete to remove multiple images at once. You can choose to view in grid or list format. Click the edit content icon to edit the image title. Click the image setting icon to add information such as product link, SEO friendly alt text, and you can also hide the image on different screen sizes. A convenient way to set up images is to press bulk edit. Here, you can add content to all the images at once. Once you're done, you can go to the Build tab to see the results of the changes, which is also the final interface that will be displayed. Now go to Settings tab, choose Gallery Type. The Hover effect is set to Hover Dur. You can choose Difference Effect and see the result in Build tab. You have the option to have multiple effect across devices. Appear effect is how the images are showed when you first enter the page. When you click on the image, it can show a pop-up of full-size image. If you have a large number of images, it's better to have load more function checked. The infinite scroll will automate the load more function without active click. The filter functionality will be explained in the gallery with filter video. Check enable search to have a search bar. Adjust setting like placeholder text, clear button, search and title, description. You can change the image order by name, reverse, or random, but it's more effective to do it in the build tab. Hit change image order and drag and drop the image card. Back to settings tab, increase the thumbnail width to make image sharper, and you can also crop the height. Switch to design tab, you can decide the hover effect in this tab and preview hover state result. I will leave it to show the title. Change border radius. You can set radius for each corner. The image itself can have the effect. For example, grade a color. The hover layer is a semi-transparent black color, but you can change it and also the position of text content. Lastly is in the Build tab, you hit Next arrow in each image to make it occupy more columns. Adjust the gap and the columns number to have more or less dense. Click Save to confirm change. Hit Publish to export it to Shopify theme. Add it to the new page. Give a new name for the page and create and publish. You can now view the gallery page. 